We've introduced a new 3D visualization feature to our new yard area creation. Hi, my name is Al Delsey and I'm a software engineer at Optivide. We have a few updates for you today. Let's take a look at our new yard area configuration tools. Let's create a new yard area. We will name it test yard. Our description, this is a test yard. Client identifier, test yard. We will change the type of the area to a grid. Our prefix will be capital T. Our yard will be 10 containers deep, five containers wide, and three containers high. We will not have any reefer plugs and we'll leave everything as normal. Let's go ahead and draw where our area, where our yard will be. This looks like a good place. And let's go ahead and save this yard. And there you go. As you can notice, we've introduced this new 3D visualization feature for yard creation. In this 3D visualization feature, you are able to modify and visually understand what the yard looks like. Let's add some more rows and let's reduce. Maybe add another height. And below, you're able to see exactly what the yard will look like. Let's label the rows with numbers instead of letters. And let's label the heights with letters instead of numbers. We can also change the order. Instead of letters ascending, we can change it to letters descending. And maybe we also want to change the rows to numbers descending. As you notice, you still have the ability to not only type in the amount of rows you want, you can also use the arrows. You can change the yard prefix to whatever you want. Below, you still have customization of the slot name expression. If you would like to know how to work that, you can click on this little information icon and will pop up the information necessary to modify it. We can change the order from depth number to row letter and depth number. And as we close it, we can save and voila, our new yard has been created. You can also modify an existing yard by going to toggle details and you will notice that we've separated our settings into four different pages. Our main settings, our stacking strategy, our yard slots, and cargo criteria. Let's go to our yard slots. In an existing yard, there is a little warning that tells us that our yard already has slots. And if we modify and save, it will erase our existing slots and reset our yard. Let's click I understand. We can now see what our yard looks like. And from there, you can make the necessary modifications to your yard area. Thank you for using Octopi, and we'll see you soon.